Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on the matrix report item. A matrix can be used to display summarized data. It allows you to group and summarize data in both rows and columns. A simple matrix design contains a row group, a column group, a corner cell, and a data cell. In this video, we will see how to add the matrix report item to RDL reports, and how to change its properties. First, let's create a new report. Create a new report and name it matrix report. You can see how to create your first report in another video. I have provided a link to it in this video's description, for your convenience. Second, let's create a data set to assign the data in the matrix report item. Create a new data source, name it sales details using the JSON data connector. And click the connect button. Create a new data set and name it sales data set. Drag and drop the result schema. And click the finish button. The data set will be created. I have provided a video link for creating a data source and data set using the JSON data connector and the documentation link for the JSON query in the video's description. Now, let's add the matrix report item to the report. Drag and drop the matrix report item from the item panel to the designer surface. You can also add the report item by right-clicking the design area and then clicking insert from the context menu. The list of report items that can be added will be displayed in the context menu. Select matrix. You will see the properties for the matrix report item displayed. Since we can assign values from the database directly to the matrix report item, the data tab is disabled. The name field contains the name of the matrix report item. The properties for the report item are divided into nine categories, based on their usage. You can change the size of the matrix report item by extending it at the corners and by dragging the points at the center of each side of the matrix report item. The matrix report item has four different sections. The corner cell is created when the matrix data region has both row groups and column groups. The row group cells display row group instance values. The column group cells display column group instance values. The data cells display the details and group data. Now, let's assign the data for the matrix report item. Under the data category, click the drop down icon next to the data set property. The data set we created is displayed in the drop down list. Select the sales data set from the drop down list. In this demo, we are going to group the country and products fields vertically, and the year and quarter fields horizontally. Click the Data Assign menu icon in the row group cell. The list of dataset fields is displayed in the context menu. Select the country field. You will see the field added to the proper cell. In the row group section, you will see the row group value was changed to country 1. Similarly, assign the year value to the column group. And the column group value is changed to year 1. To add the child group, click the drop-down icon next to the parent group. Select Add Group. And then select Child Group. The Tablix Group dialog will open to configure the grouping. Choose the Products field as the Child Group, in the Group by drop-down. Click OK to add the child group. You can see that the child group products has been added in the matrix, as well as in the grouping panel. In the same way, add quarter as a column child group for year. To display the sales amount and units of each product, we need two columns in the data cell. Right-click on the data cell. Select Insert Column and then insert group right. 
Another column cell will be inserted in the matrix data cell. Click the data assign menu icon in the cell. And select add expression from the context menu. The expression dialog will open. Enter the expression to find the sum of units sold. And click the OK button. The expression is applied to the proper cell. Similarly, let's add the expression to calculate the total. Click the preview button. You will see the total number of each product sold, along with the total sales amount for every quarter. To add the header text, right click the quarter child group cell. Select insert row. And select insert group, below. A new row will be inserted. Right click on the newly added cell. And select split cells. Set the header text of the first aggregate cell, by clicking on the cells data assign menu icon. Choose add text from the menu. In the add text dialog, set the header text as units sold in the text area. And click add. Now, the header text will be set for the units aggregate. Similarly, set the header text as sold amount for the amount aggregate. Click the preview button. You will see the header text is added. Now we are going to add the total row. To display the total units sold and the total sales amount in each quarter, in the grouping panel, select the drop-down icon next to the country row group. Select Add Total. And then select After. This adds a row in the matrix to display the total sales units and the amount. Click the Preview button. You will see the total units sold and total sales amounts calculated for each quarter and displayed in the total row. Now, let's format the matrix report item. Select the matrix report item. Under the appearance category, change the border style to solid. Select all the corner empty cells. Under the appearance category, change the border color to white. Select the row group empty columns. Click the icon next to the border. And select advanced. Change the bottom border style to solid. And border color to black. In the same way, change the empty cells in the column group's right border style to solid. And the border color to black. Select all the remaining cells. And change the border color to black. Select the year cell. Under the appearance category, change the background color to teal. Under the basic settings category, change the font color to white and font weight to bold. Under the text alignment category, change the text alignment property to center. Select the sum of amount column group cell. And change the background color to light green. Select the remaining cells. And change the background color to light grayish blue. Select the sum of amount column group cell. Click the icon next to Format Property. The Format dialog will open. Change the format type to Currency. And the decimal places field value to 0. Enable the Use 1000 Separator option. Then click the OK button. In the same way change the format for the total amount. Click the Preview button you will see the matrix report item is rendered. In this video, we saw how to add the matrix report item in the report designer control, and how it is rendered in the report viewer control while previewing it. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.